As we continue to celebrate Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month here, we're looking at some of the food that people like to enjoy. Yeah, that's right. The Valley's diverse restaurant scene offers a taste of home for many. Our Tina Nguyen visit, visited one restaurant in Chinatown that reminds her of her childhood. Do you have a specific favorite one out of all of these? I, I eat pho. That's my okay. favorite. Pho is a favorite for me and many of the customers walking into Viet Noodle Bar on Spring Mountain near South Decatur. Owner Koi Vu says his restaurant serves the Vietnamese soup with beef, pork, chicken, shrimp, and even oxtail. Pho is a, it's a go-to dish. It's, it's, you can't go wrong. You can have it any time of the day, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. This popular spot, opened since 2015, offers plenty of other options. Cái two dish cái này, chú nói là chú bằng gì? Cái này là gội gội cuốn, cái này là chả giò. As a first-generation American, born to Vietnamese parents, I'm very familiar with this food, like this vermicelli with beef and shrimp or these spring rolls. This I used to make with my mom. We'd yeah. sit on the floor and... It's very easy to <laughs> we make. Would, yes, you'd put the shrimp, the lettuce, yeah. um, and then a little bit of the, the vermicelli the noodles. Vermicelli, yeah. Koi moved to the U.S. when he was just eight years old and says his parents started a different restaurant, which they still run in Chinatown today. When we first moved in 93, I don't think there was a Chinatown. It was just Spring Mountain. There's maybe like two Vietnamese restaurants in town. Today, he says Chinatown's growth is exploding. There's so many different ethnicities, so many different restaurants that you can have pretty much anything you want now. But following his parents into the family business and running his own restaurant wasn't always the goal. I went to school, I was thinking of being a police officer when I was younger. I graduated at UNLV for criminal justice, but okay. somehow I had to stick with the restaurant business. Koi says it was actually his dad's work ethic, which inspired him to follow in his footsteps, and he wouldn't trade it for the world. We've been in town for a long time, and I would love to have the legacy go for a while. Took, out the, uh, took over for my dad, yeah. What has it been like for you to expose other ethnicities to our, our food? Oh, it's, it's very important for our, uh, different ethnicities to try our food. I want to provide food for everybody, the whole community, you know, not just Vietnamese people, but other people in the community as well. To do that, Koi recently participated in the Business Select program for local businesses, hoping to earn a contract for next year's Super Bowl at Allegiant Stadium. While he's shooting for the stars and the chance to reach more customers, Koi says he doesn't take any of it for granted. Getting these dishes just right takes a lot of practice and patience. It takes time to perfect it. Yeah. There's, there's no shortcut. How long did it take you to, to perfect it? I don't, uh, I've been doing it, I don't think I perfected it. I think I'm still learning. 